back to another video, everybody. Today, we're gonna be breaking down some viral visualizers here from Bad Bunny. We're gonna go into After Effects and use 03D to recreate something like this. It's actually pretty easy. I think this video will teach you some useful things. You don't have to recreate this with the truck and everything, but it'll teach you some useful techniques for creating some creative visualizers from scratch where you have your green screen footage and you can put together different parts to make different things. So if you guys do enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into it in After Effects here. So let me go and create a new composition. We'll click this button on the left. All right, so let's start off first by finding our truck as well as our road, which we're gonna eventually loop here to create that motion. Because we're fully piecing this together with 2D assets, Google Images is gonna be your friend here. You want to know how to use this little tools button here. If you go over to color, you can search by transparent. So you're gonna have a guaranteed PNG image, which is what we want. And you also wanna to go to size, try and make it large if you want to have no quality loss. You guys can look through here. Again, it doesn't have to be a truck. It can be whatever you'd like. I'll have links to all the assets that I used here down below so we'll drop that right into after effects and there's our truck let's go ahead and flip that so i'll just grab this drag it to the left and then same exact thing search for road you want to get a nice sideways angle i only found really one image here that really worked for this uh this one right here and again i'll leave the link to this down below so we'll drag that in there. Again, if you are wanting to add some 3D into this, watch my The Weekend Visualizer where we created 3D roads using Element, or watch my Mac Miller Good News Visualizer where we talked about creating 3D animated cars, things like that. So we're gonna take this road and just drag this in a layer below our truck so that we can see that there. And let's actually drag this down and just start masking out the pieces that we want. So we don't need all this grass and we can get the barrier later. I'm gonna click G on my keyboard to bring up my pen tool. And I'm just gonna create a straight line cross the road like this, connect that there, and there is the piece of our road. Now let's go in and find our background. And the cool thing about this is it's very interchangeable. So if you create some sort of visualizer template, if you wanna make others in the same style, you can see I can just check on another background that I have in here and now it's a completely different video. And I'm pretty sure that's what they did for a lot of these. They're just using the exact same truck and just changing up the background and the lighting. Either way, I'll just look up something like mountain background. So go through, find whatever HD background you'd like. Here's the one that I selected here. We're just gonna cut out that road. So I'm actually going to quickly transform this and fit it to comp. And then I'll take my pen tool again by clicking G and I'm gonna just cut out uh, this part with the road over here. And we don't want the road, we want the opposite of that. So we'll click M on our keyboard to bring up our mask. And we'll change that to subtract. That's great, we'll drag that below our truck, just like that. So you can see how it's starting to come together. So now let's work on probably the most important part of this tutorial, and that is having our looping road, creating the motion so that it's not just these still images here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my road here. Let's rename that to road. I'm gonna right click on that layer. I'm gonna pre-compose it. You wanna make sure you move all attributes into the new comp. We'll name that road comp, click OK. Then let's double click into that composition. We're gonna make some changes before we loop this. So first off, let's go up to this composition tab composition settings and let's extend the width because we want to have a longer road so we're going to put the width at something like 5160 just to give us a lot more length here so that we can extend this and it's not cutting off so what you want to do is select this road you want to click Control d to duplicate it and then if you click p on this layer to bring up position you can take your position here and you can just move this all the way to each side. So we're gonna keep doing that to extend this road. And you wanna make sure these edges are really matched up so that you don't have any jumps whenever we do go in to loop it. So we'll place it something like that. I'm gonna control D and duplicate that again. Click P for position. And let's move this one all the way to the right. For any reason, these don't line up. What you could do is just grab this left edge and just drag it to the right so that you're kind of inverting it. And then you'll see how this edge is sort of matching the seam there. And you can keep repeating that just moving these over. All right, so once you guys have finished with that, you should have something that looks like this, where you just have this long extended road along the bottom. So when we go back to our main composition here, and here's our road, you can see that this extends on each way. We're gonna go ahead and open up the transform for our road comp, and we're just going to, and we're just gonna take the anchor point here, and we're going to move that so that it starts all the way on the right side. So we're just kind of aligning the right edge to be the beginning. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a simple little keyframe to create some motion for our road. So go and open up Transform, 
We're gonna go ahead and click this keyframe for position and then move a couple of seconds. The less seconds, the faster the speed is gonna be. I like going somewhere around like three seconds um, and then take your position value and just start dragging this to the right. So you should see the composition starting to move. You wanna keep dragging that to the right until this road is all the way back here. So if we go in here and press play, you should see that our road is now moving to the right. Now, the only issue here is that we need to have some sort of a loop so that this will keep going on at this speed forever. And again, if you want to make that faster, take that keyframe. Let's maybe make that two seconds. We'll drag it in. And now you're going to see how the road is moving a lot faster. So let's set up our looping road so that it'll keep this speed throughout the entire composition and not just stop there. So you want to go over to position, you want to hold down the alt key and while holding down alt, you want to click on that stopwatch. It's going to open up your expression editor here and we can add in a little loop expression to loop it at this exact speed throughout the comp. So go ahead and enter this. I'll also put this in the description if you want to copy and paste it. Under case a loop, we're going to type out parentheses and then in quotation, we're going to type cycle. And then at the very end, we'll put a semicolon. So loop out cycle. Now, if you guys have any little jumps here with the loop when it goes back to the beginning position, to fix that, you wanna double click back into your comp and just make sure the very left image is matching up with the very right image. You wanna try and have those be as identical as possible. All right, so now to smooth out any bumps we may still have in the road, we're gonna add some motion blur to make this look more natural. So what you wanna do here, you want to turn on this composition motion blur switch. So it's right here, just enable that. And then go ahead and click toggle switches and modes down here in the bottom left until you can see the motion blur switch and make sure that's enabled for your road as well. Now you'll see there's some natural blurring in there. If you guys go up to composition comp settings, you can go to advanced and you can change how much blur. So if I bump that up, you're going to see a lot more blur. I think that can blend things a lot better. So I'm going to grab my truck and click S and just scale that up a bit and we'll place that like that. And this is starting to come together. So let's add in some of the finishing elements here. If you guys want, you can add more into the road. Um, uh, what I did was I took that original piece of the road and I just masked out the barrier and I did the exact same thing where in my road composition here, I just placed those pieces of the barrier like I did with the road right into the composition so that everything's set up properly. And then when we go back to the tutorial here, everything still has the exact same motion blur and the exact same keyframe animation for speed that we set up. So that's looking great. Again, just using your masking tool to cut out the pieces you want. It's really up to you guys there. You guys can adjust the masking here. I don't want anyone to see that road. So I'm just going to try and scale that down a little bit and always make sure that this layer is below our road here. Let's also add a bit of motion to the background here. So I'm going to select my background image. I'm going to go to my transform over here on the left and just keyframe everything at the starting position. So I'll just click and drag down and then I'm going to drag to the end of my composition and I'll just take my position here and just move that over a tiny bit. And then we're going to take a look at what that looks like. So there you go. Now all we need to do is add our green screen person on the very top, and then we'll add a little bit of rotation onto the wheels. So for the green screen, so I literally just looked up green screen dancing on YouTube. A lot of these are royalty free and they'll have a download link in the description. Of course, if you're doing this for your own music video, if you're planning to create something like this, make sure you're shooting your footage on a green screen. You wanna have full body so that nothing's cut off in the legs. So I used this guy here, we'll place that in our scene. First, we need to get rid of the green. So we'll go to our effects and presets and I'm gonna search for key light and I'll place that on our clip and then just grab the dropper and select here. So that's looking good. Let's just invert him so that he's looking to the right. And then we're gonna select the layer, click S to scale down and drag him so that he is small and on top of our truck. And there you guys go. Let's add in that last little step here where we're gonna add some rotation to the tires just so that this truck doesn't look as stagnant. I'm gonna select my truck layer here and click Control D to duplicate it. And let's rename this to tire spin. So what I'm gonna do for tire spin here is first I'm gonna change my anchor point. And this is gonna be the center of where we're rotating around. So we want that to be in the middle of our tire. So at the top in your toolbar, grab this anchor point tool. And then you see this little dot in the middle of the layer. This is your anchor point. Let's go ahead and place that right in the center of our tire. So now if I open up the transform for our tire layer and I add rotation, it's gonna be rotating around that anchor point. So that's why we set that up first. Let's add a little bit of masking here because we don't wanna spin the whole truck. So I'll grab my pen tool and I'll just draw a little mask around the rims of our tire. And now at the beginning of our comp, let's add our animation. So I'll click down and drag to enable those keyframes. And then I'll go about two to three seconds, maybe two and a half. And then I'll add about one full rotation at that point. So if we press play, 
Here's what that looks like. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Let's add in that exact same loop effect so that we can loop that tire spin throughout the entire composition at the exact same speed. So we're gonna Alt and click on the stopwatch and we're gonna type in that same expression. So loop out parentheses cycle and then semicolon to end it. Now let's go ahead and just duplicate that and place it at the other tire parts. We're gonna select tire spin click control D to duplicate. And then let's click V to bring up our pointer. And then carefully without messing up the mask, just kind of click in this area here. You wanna just click and drag that onto the other tires. And there you go, simple as that. So just repeat those steps, control D, place that there. There you guys go. We completed our entire composition, adding motion to all of those stale 2D parts. Simple as that. So a little compositing tutorial here. If you guys want me to make that part two, where we go into doing this with 3D, where we can have a lot more depth, a lot more control, and a lot more options over our angles. We don't have to dive through different 2D images and kind of cut and paste like we did here. And we can make a lot more complex and interactive things with light and with our environment. So, so comment below if you'd like to see that or anything else. I've been making a lot of After Effects things, so I want to do some more easy premiere videos and i'm also going to put out some more c4d and blender videos so keep an eye out for that leave a like if you guys did enjoy thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting and i'll see you guys in the next one Ooh.